Hi, this is Abhijit and you are watching AB Study Circle. Do like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from AB Study Circle. In this video, we will discuss a question from the unsolved section of your engineering thermodynamics book written by P.K. Nag. And this question has also been asked in the CSU2 University exam in 2014. So, let's dive in. The question is like this a reversible engine works between three thermal reservoirs a b and c the engine absorbs an equal amount of heat from the thermal reservoir a and b kept at temperature ta and tb respectively and rejects heat to the thermal reservoir c kept at temperature tc the efficiency of the engine is alpha times the efficiency of a reversible engine which works between two reservoirs A and C. Then the question says that prove TA by TB is equal to 2 alpha minus 1 plus 2 into 1 minus alpha TA by TC. So let's start with the diagram describing the question see it says that there is a reversible heat engine remember it is a reversible heat engine right say it is E1 ok it takes heat from two thermal reservoirs which is maintained at B and A at temperature TA and TB ok it takes equal amount of heat say it takes QA amount of heat from both this thermal reservoirs right and it rejects heat QC to the thermal reservoir maintained at temperature TC Right? It does some work, say W1. Okay. Then what did the question says that the efficiency of this engine is alpha times the efficiency of a reversible engine which works between the two reservoir A and C. Let's suppose there is another engine which is working between the temperature limits A. TA and TC say this is your engine say E2 it takes say Q1 amount of heat from here it rejects Q2 amount of work to the thermal reservoir maintained at temperature TC while producing W2 amount of work ok now, the question says that E1 and E2 both are reversible engine. Right? And it says that the efficiency of this engine is alpha times the efficiency of this reversible engine which is working between the reservoirs T. Uh, a and C which are maintained at temperature T A and T C respectively. Right? That means the efficiency of engine 1 is alpha times the efficiency of engine 2. Right? Okay. We got this. This is the whole thing which we got from our question. Okay. Now, can you find out the efficiency for this reversible engine? Yes. So, for E2 engine, the efficiency E2 will be 1 minus Tc by Ta because it is a reversible engine. So, we can 
हैव द एफिशियंसी इन टर्म्स ऑफ टेम्परेचर वी गॉट दिस पुट इट एज इक्वेशन वन एंड इट इज एज इक्वेशन ए ओके नाउ लेट्स एनालाइज दिस राइट इन दिस साइड आई हैव पुट दिस ओके सी दिस इज अ रिवर्सिबल इंजिन फॉर रिवर्सिबल इंजिन क्लॉसियस इन equality says cyclic integral of d cut q by t is equal to 0 for reversible right so can you apply this concept here yes we can apply this concept and we will use the sign convention for heat transfer so we have qa by for e1 right qa by ta plus qa by tb minus qc by tc equal to 0 okay i am leaving this thing so that i can manage the whole sheet here okay from there we can have qa by ta plus qa by tb is equal to qc by tc can you uh, i can take out qa as common so it will be 1 by ta Plus one by T B, right? That is equal to Q C by T C. I am just interchanging Q A and T C from here. So we have T C one by T A plus one by T B is equal to Q C by Q A. right now let's find out the efficiency for this engine what will be the efficiency for this engine the efficiency e1 will be what 1 minus heat rejected by heat input we can write this okay so what is your heat rejected here heat rejected is qc and how much heat input was there 2 qa because from both the reservoirs it is taking out Q1 QA amount of heat from both the reservoirs so it will be 2 QA okay again we are just rearranging the things right right okay 1 minus 1 by 2 QC by QA i can write this like this okay so QC by QA is nothing but TC into one by TA plus one by TB. So one minus one by two TC one by TA plus one by TB. we have this now right 
right from a from a we have the efficiency of e1 is alpha times the efficiency of e2 let's put both the efficiencies for e1 and e2 here so e1 is 1 minus tc by 2 1 plus ta plus 1 by tb right is equal to alpha 1 minus tc by ta we have just wrote the efficiencies we which we have calculated from here say it is uh, your efficiency equation number 2 so from 2 and 1 equation we have got this ok then we will just rearrange it will be 1 minus tc by 2 ta minus tc by 2 tb is equal to alpha minus alpha tc by ta ok now what we will be doing is that we will multiply both side by ta by tc we will multiply both side by ta by tc so it will be ta by tc is equal to i will be uh, simplifying the whole thing this is minus 1 by 2 minus what we will get from here is that minus ta by 2 tb this will be alpha ta by tc and it will be minus alpha right now what I will be doing is that I will be bringing out this on the right hand side this thing and everything from right hand side to left hand side ok so TA by TC minus alpha ta by tc minus half plus alpha is equal to ta by 2tb now i will be taking this two from here and i will be multiplying this here ok so it will be 2 ta by tc minus 2 alpha ta by tc minus 1 plus 2 alpha is equal to ta by tb so let's take out common 2 TA by TC minus alpha TA by TC this we can write as 2 alpha minus 1 is equal to TA by TB or in other words it can be written as TA by TB 
is equal to 2 alpha minus 1 plus 2 1 minus alpha Ta by Tc. So see, from here we have proved what we have asked in the question.